Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I got some uh, big information coming from uh, Ukraine, and the Ukrainians are claiming that they uh, conducted some bombardments, some uh, strikes in uh, occupied territories or liberated territories, and um, it resulted in destroying a Russian military base, a major one. Now. That's fantastic news, if true. Fantastic in a way that, like, it's a big news. So, uh, let's see. Ukrainska Pravda, August 28, 2022. Armed forces of Ukraine destroy large Russian military base in Melitopol. The armed forces of Ukraine struck one of the largest Russian military bases on the territory of the Avtokoliorin. Oh my god, try again. Av Avtokoliorlit, my god, plant. Company producing non ferrous metals for vehicles, tractors, and agricultural machinery. In Melitopol, said the mayor Ivan Fedorov of Melitopol. Ivan Fedorov, in an interview with Free Dome TV channel, Ukrainian TV station, which was established for a Russian-speaking audience during the war, a particular for, in particular for the Russian occupied, occupying forces. A quote from Fedorov, according to preliminary information, a building has been destroyed in the village of Mirne, Mirne in Melitopol district, where the preparations for the sham referendum to join Russia were ongoing. In the city of Melitopol, one of the largest enemy military bases on the territory of Avdoko, Avdokolil Orlit plant, I broke my tongue, has been destroyed. End quote. Details. According to Fedorov, something is going on to the Russian occupiers every day for the past three weeks. Background. Explosion, explosions have rung out overnight in the Russian-occupied Melitopol and the village of Mirne in Melitopol district. Well, what could that be? We know for a fact now that something happened. Now, is it was it the Ukrainians? Was it an accident? I really don't uh, buy the accident stories uh, during a war. I mean, accidents occur. I totally agree with that. But uh, you don't see ac accidents every other day, okay? Um, unless you're either tarred below 86 or uh, <clears throat> it's not an accident and actually it's a the enemy who is just uh, destroying your uh, little positions over there I'm inclined to think that uh, uh, this is not an accident for the reasons I just mentioned and uh, whatever the Russians will say I will take the Ukrainian side on this one or at least I will get their their statements uh, because I'm kind of um, I don't want to say sick of it, but <laughs> well, when that, remember when the air, airfield in um, Crimea, the first, the first incident, not the first, actually the second one, the first one with the headquarters of the uh, Navy, the Russian Navy headquarters in uh, Sevastopol that was hit by a uh, drone, uh, that was the first uh, uh, you know, incident that the Ukrainians were able to undertake in Crimea. And then this, when they destroyed those planes, about 12 or something out of 24, and uh, the Russians, the first uh, airfield that was hit, and the Russians said, oh, it was a, uh, actually it was a, just an accident, a fire uh, alarm, a fire something was, really? And then I said, well, okay, multiple. So I'm assuming it's a place with ammunition here, another here, and just spread it from one to another. And I was like, well, let's wait. And then I saw pictures, and the pictures are unclear enough for any tard, including me, to see the, you know, the craters of the whatever they send, missiles or whatever they hit. And they were pinpointed. It was not like uh, they were like one next to another. Well, like this far away, bang, 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 about, I don't know, 12, 13 craters. So when I saw that, I said, yeah, okay, Russians, where are your S-400s? Where are your S-300s? Where are your S-15,000? Where are they? This is a military airfield close to the border 
I would say, where is a war and you just have nothing to defend it and over there is the fleet of, of uh, planes, the fighters and bom bom bombers that you use like S24 or whatever that is to go and hit Ukrainian targets and you ah, it's very nice today let's take a little bit oh, okay is that what you did I mean it was undefended undef or it was defended and uh, someone was or too much vodka or didn't work it won't fire you know what <laughs> it definitely it was not an accident you know a little rat or a mouse you know just uh, ate a little bit of uh, whatever wire somewhere and bzz, 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 and then the mix over there and the suhoys just exploded from that little rat uh, chewing on that uh, wire Psst. violin and we're gonna have a little I don't know Mozart here so uh, no 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 so after that when I hear it was the, then the, the thing in Belarus remember an explosion in Belarus multiple explosions in Belarus and the Russians came and said oh actually actually the Belarusians came and said actually it was they were working at midnight uh, they, and the explosions were at midnight two o'clock one o'clock and it's not like one uh, the Russians were working at a uh, at this uh, military bases where he just brought some uh, um, you know military equipment and they were working on an engine and the engine was something wrong and just exploded okay how many explosions 50 or one or two I mean that's another an, from an engine when was the last time you heard someone working on an engine somewhere in a shop you know and exploding from an engine let's turn it on Shh, boom I've never heard that maybe I'm just you know not uh, I didn't walk around the world enough or on this on planet earth but I've never heard this kind of accident so again I was like yeah 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 zoop loop out I didn't even I didn't even pay attention to their justification is it possible yeah 0.00001% but it is <laughs> but everything else I do not believe the same here big explosion what are they gonna say did they celebrate anything the gate parade in uh, in uh, Europe or something which is undergoing or not in a certain country <laughs> that will make a video on is that what it is no it's just uh, they got hit by something again and I don't think it was only one because they say major and there were multiple explosions I read another article and first the Ukrainians said oh it was not I don't know if it was us or not many. was it you was it you that's how they made it and now this guy says well it was us doing it I have no evidence but I say it was us because it looks good <sighs> thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just